Uh, the presentation, ladies and gentlemen, is done by Butuba Endi in fulfillment of the USP Senior Management Development Program Finance Management Module. And the company of choice is Ascendis Health. The outline of the presentation is that follows. It uh, covers from company profile and strategy to the last uh, improve, ways of improving return on investment. Uh, the company is a South African company that is uh, international and is concentrated on marketing leading brand products from human plants and animals. It was formed in 2008 and listed in the JSE in 2013. It currently uh, covers over 120 countries in distribution, employs 4,000 employees, and it has a growth strategy that led to the acquisition of uh, four European in four European countries. Uh, the high-level uh, performance indicators revenue it has grown by 64% to 6.4 billion, and an indication of growth is also in the international acquisitions, which were three in 2017, and the fact that earnings outside South Africa has grown to over 60%. The comparison between Ascendis and one of its uh, competitors in the pharmaceutical industry, Jane Mann, reflects that uh, the share price for Ascendis has been growing up to over 115% around uh, July 2017. However, it is worth noting that the share price started falling off due to divestment by small and medium-sized investors in South Africa. And uh, the company has responded to tone down acquisition strategy to lower debt and prioritize organic growth. Uh, around the ratios, uh, we've selected the liquidity ratios using the current ratio and quick asset ratio. The unit price of each of every ratio and the formula is indicated as follows. In terms of analysis of the ratios, uh, there's a downward trend in between 2015 and 2016, and largely for the current ratio, it is due to the increase in borrowing between 2015 and 2016 of 23%. Um, and the other trend, especially the dividend payoff, remained flat between the two years and increased marginally over 2017. Uh, the common trend of the decrease in terms of uh, ratios between 2015 and 16 is reflected here with an increase over 2017 which in, in reflects the growth over 2017. The external factors that drive cost and revenue have been taxed where the company has uh, invested in low tax jurisdictions and also the finance cost increase due to additional, adding, additional gearing of growth in the business there's been issues of uh, currency around Nigeria. There have been issues of exchange rate where the rent uh, had to increase and, uh, over the euro. Uh, the other factors uh, in conclusion is that there is a clear strategy and purpose for providing composite health as a solution in South Africa, therefore making Ascendis a prospective company. The return on investment is high, the earnings per shares are increasing, some acquisitions are, in, uh, are increasing over Europe as well, and there's a clear focus on how the company would love to grow in the next years. In terms of uh, steps of improving return on investment, it is indicated that there is use for more financial leverage, that is one way, there is increased profit margin, improved turnover, and low taxes. Uh, and uh, the low tax uh, methodology where we could see uh, Ascendis investing in low tax countries. <laughs>